All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Gmail to run my professional uh, email account and check email. So I've, in the previous video, I've, and I'll include a link to it, I already showed you how to set up your email using Bluehost. Uh, Bluehost is who I use as a hosting service. I can set up unlimited emails through them. So I wanna set up, uh, here's the email section. So forwarders, what I wanna do is is for the email because I'm not going to log in to their webmail, which I can. But what I want to do is set up email forwarding. So I have all these emails that forward to these emails that I have. Um, so I'm going to add an email forwarder. Now I used to do it a different way. I used to uh, import the email into Gmail, but I saw some issues with that. So now I, I figured out this way, and it is to me infinitely better. Um, so. So here's the address I want to forward. Now, I had already set up this email address, right? Please at be positive with us. Please be positive with. So what I want to do is I want to forward all email from that account to this email address. I'm going to use a Gmail address. So I'm going to forward all those messages to brooksconkle at gmail.com. All right, that's actually a personal email address of mine. All right, so submit. All right, so that should have been created. Uh, let's find it right here. Please, that be positive with us. We're gonna forward all those to gmail.com. Cool, easy enough. Now step two, I'm gonna go to my Gmail. Um, I'll go backwards, let me start. I was already on settings. So you wanna go up here to the gear. You wanna go to settings. Now what we're gonna do is accounts and import. So now I need to be able to send mail as that email address, okay? So let me add an address, name Brooks Conkle, that'll work. Or I could even change it to um, be positive, that's the alias part. So please be positive with the US, tree is an alias. All right, next step. So here you need to put the full email address. The username it starts with please, but add the full domain, so the full email address. This should be the password that you set up on your hosting account. I'll click add account. All right, so they're like, hey, great. Um, one more step, an email confirmation was sent to, the dude one thought, I can click the link in the email or I can put the code that was in that message. Here's the cool thing, because I, I set up forwarding first, I actually don't have to go into that web account and log in. I should be able to go to my email and once it's forwarded, let's see how long it takes here. Boom, it's already here. So this is actually, this email, here in my Gmail was sent to please at be positive with us. It just so happened that they forwarded a copy of it here, right? So I can either put in that code or I can click the link here. So I'm gonna click the link. It says, hey, please confirm sending mail at please be positive with us. I wanna confirm that. Hey, great, now I can send mail as that. All right, so that's pretty cool. But let me get back and show you one more thing. So obviously I'm able to send the mail as that, but here's what I do. So here it is. Uh, I can make it the default. Let's say out of this Gmail account, that's all I plan to do was send people emails and get emails. I can make that the default email. I'm not gonna do that, but what I am gonna do, this is pretty important down here. Reply to the same address the message was sent to. Um, and that is normal. So that way when I get emails in this account, from different things, and I don't know, okay, someone sent me an email, oh, I got an email, I check it. I didn't know um, who it was from, but I can reply, and it will automatically be from, please be positive with us. And I can set up my own um, uh, signature, 
line with that. You can set up my own signature line with that, and it will by default have that signature line. So you could have five different signature lines from different emails, depending. And uh, and to me, this has worked flawlessly. This is better than using. I'll show you the other option. I'd made a previous video on importing your account. Um, right here, add a mail account. And what that does is it kind of sucks the sucks the a copy of the email. Um, from the account it imports it, but I figure, hey, why not just forward all the email and then I can reply to it um, and I'm able to send as that email address. So to me, that's worked much more seamlessly. I haven't missed any emails. Um, when I was using this feature, I would find that sometimes it would like time out and not be importing the uh, the messages. So, so that's how you do that. Let me know if you have any questions. Happy to help you out. Um, subscribe to my channel. I'll show you anything that I use for tips and tricks for other stuff and how to think outside the box and do some do some cool and unique things and obviously as I say destroy the box so uh, subscribe to my channel hit, hit the uh, the bell icon to get notified when I have new videos and uh, look forward to uh, to to making some more videos for you guys all right take care